Hello and welcome along. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog and today is August the 2nd. Uh, we are, well, it's, it's a little bit damp at the moment. Uh, it is about uh, nine in the morning and the dew is, uh, well, the dew is uh, lingering around a little bit. We're expecting it to disappear later this morning. And uh, I hope when that happens, uh, we'll be able to get back out into the oats. At the moment, uh, I'm taking this opportunity to sort of move some stuff out of our storage. Uh, we've, we need to, to make space for the bales. I want to start moving the bales in. And I want to uh, make sure that we, we're basically, we're using all of our storage space as efficiently as possible. Uh, as a result, uh, I'm moving these big bags out of here. We're going to get these stacked next to uh, our cedar, as you saw. Uh, and then we got... Is that a... That's an empty one, isn't it? Yeah, that's an empty one. So we'll take these full ones. That empty one we can chuck out. Um, but uh, yeah, we want to get these out of the way. Uh, because at the moment they are massively in the way uh, and then what we'll be able to do is get uh, the bales in this area here uh, it's it's a fairly easy area to tip into but I suppose I could put stuff here uh, and oh actually I think looking at this look at where it's easy for us to tip into we can tip into this corner quite easily uh, we cannot tip into this corner very easily so if we go three bales high in that section there uh, we should be good and then we can tip into here fairly well as well uh, I'm just I'm trying to work out because we've got so we've got the oats still to harvest uh, so the remainder of field six uh, we also need to go and harvest uh, the canola uh, and the soybeans and the carrots so whatever we do we need three more spaces in the shed uh, and that's that's the trouble i've got is that there's not a huge amount of uh, of spaces left uh plus we need to get our ooh, uh we need to get our bales under cover too so I think we're going to move, uh, we're also going to move the equipment for uh, this, for this telehandler into this shed as well. Uh, get that moved out of the way. And this is sort of our equipment shed up the top here. I think in fact, we probably want to get that cedar down to the other shed if we can. Um, but it's getting fairly crowded down there as well. So uh, it's not the easiest of, <laughs> of things uh, to sort out this. It's a little bit... Uh, Jengri, you'd have thought this would have been an easier thing to do around here. Sort of keep all this area uh, nicely, uh, well, nice and easy to, to saw stuff. But it's, uh, yeah, it's not. It's not as easy as you'd think. Uh, but if we put the, uh, if we put the canola in this area here, uh, if we put the soybeans in this corner here, we can then get the carrots down this end here, and that should mean that we've uh, we've got everything stored nice and separately, and uh, and will work well. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, soybeans are going to be the last crop we get out. Uh, they tend to sell in the new year, whereas everything else tends to sell over over the winter. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, Soybeans are one of those crops to get the best prices. You have to hold on to them for longer, uh, which can be slightly annoying. There we go. Let's put this a little bit further out. There we are. Nicely, uh, nicely stacked in this corner. Oh, okay. I'm going to put that last one over by the wall as well. Hook it back up. These can be uh, quite hefty. These bags, you know, even even unloaded, they're not the. Uh... Oh come on! Sometimes I can't get these straps to reach. 
let's try that again. No, nope, you're going to be pain. I'm going to push it forwards. There we go. That'll do. And then we'll leave the uh, we'll leave this here. The empty bag is uh, I can uh, I can just move that myself. So that's not a problem. There we go. All disconnected. And dropped off. And then the next thing I want to do is start moving some of the bales. So uh, we're going to get stacking those. It's going to take me a couple of hours to get all those moved. Um, first, though, I want to move this stuff here. And get these done. Actually, the place to... Well, I want to make sure that wherever I put the bales, they're still accessible to me. Because, uh, obviously, we need to get... Um, we need to get everything easily accessible and easily uh, doable. In order to be okay and to make sure everything is still usable. Seats I don't need access to for now. And this is what I mean by, you know, it's now all about how we use the space. We got the shovel there. We need heap. We're going to have to put the robot somewhere else, I think. In order to keep that going. Yeah. When we're full of stuff here, this is this is when things get that little bit tight. Right, and hook up to that, and we can pull. Oh. Took that a little bit tight. We're good. Right there, we go. We can put this down the far side of. Uh, of our little workshop shed but we shouldn't we shouldn't have the um uh we shouldn't have the cedar up here really uh it's that's uh that's for the arable side and we try and keep all the arable side down the other end we had it up here because we hadn't had a lot of space down there um but now that we're uh now that we're in full swing of the harvest we really really need the space up here to to do everything else Okay, let's get that into this corner here. Like so. Yeah, it always happens. We always end up with this uh, this move around. Yeah, south out. And we're good. Right. So, I'm going to go and bail stack. I might get this filled up with some fuel on the way. I uh, know, oh actually, we're pretty good. I think we've got a full tank in this. So we're okay. Let's go around here. And now we've made ourselves some space to store some more crops. Perfect. So, yeah. The rain, the the the, the light showers. I, I know I said last time it was fairly, uh, we had a wet day. But we had, it was sort of a light shower and it was enough. But it's got me a little bit spooked with the bales. So I want to get these bales here under some cover before we lose them the ones we've uh, the ones we're going to make on the oat field as i said before those are going to be going uh for sale so we're going to load them up and get them sold fairly quickly uh these ones i want to uh i want to get them all under cover these are all going to be used by us and if we can get them off this field that will be good so let's uh Let's go get these moving. I need to be a little bit slow and steady with them. So, uh, as I said, this could take me a little while. But uh, we should get this job done. And then we'll be ready when the uh, when the oats have dried a little bit to go and finish off that field. I'm about halfway through my bale stack, I think. And I need... To get up higher with uh, with the second lot, we're I'm going four high in order to try and prevent these jutting out too far. 
but oh, also need to, uh, to sort of redo these ones a little bit. There's uh, a little bit of an overlap the wrong way, and it'll cause problems if I try and uh, lift these out. So we need to restack slightly. They're not always because uh, we stack them fairly quickly uh, on the wheat field. They've got uh, a little bit wrong in a couple of places. Ah, come on. Off you come. Sometimes the, the spikes get really stuck in. There we go. And that means we can get this lifted up. And carefully lifted in. I tend to come in a little bit wide and then move across. That way I make sure I'm in the right position. And similarly, we're currently not. I think I'm on the... Ah. Oh. Yeah, not always the easiest thing to see. There we go. Got stuck on the back wall. And now we're out. Pull that in and uh, and there, that's done. But yeah, there we go. That's uh, so that's how high we're going. We're uh, we should get all of the bales in to about this point, I think, at most. Uh, it's uh, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be too bad. Uh, there should be plenty of space left in here, uh, and that will keep them all nice and. Ooh. Uh, that'll keep them all nice and dry. And we want to get some hay bales in, but for some reason the hay on here this year has just failed horribly. Um, I think we're going to plough up all of the grass fields. They are... The grass is not producing at all. It is just... Uh, uh, what it produces is minimal and... Uh, it just doesn't dry. I don't know if it's the conditions up here this year, whether we've just had a little bit more moisture in the air or whatever. But, yeah, all of the grass that we've had in our grass fields has just rotted. Uh, and it's, it's just never dried to hay. No matter how much I ted it or, or try and look after it, it just rots in the field. Um, to the point where I, I think I'm going to have to buy in hay bales, uh, which is ridiculous because we have three, well, we have, we have two grass fields, three grass fields, sorry, that we cut, uh, and, uh, and yeah, none of them are producing grass, uh, good enough for, uh, for feed for the cows. They, they, we, we get grass that's good enough to turn to silage. Um, and we've, we've had plenty of silage off here this year. But, uh, yeah, hay, ba hay bales have eluded us. And I don't know why. Um, so, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be more on the... Uh, doing... Ah, oh, come on. Doing silage from the grass here and, uh, and selling excess. In the same way as we're selling excess bales... Uh, we're probably going to sell excess silage. I want to be careful because I haven't extended my boom. There we go. Bring that in. And... Right. Lift. Whoa. There we go. That should be a better approach. Yeah, trying to trying to do it uh, going right to left is difficult because the the right hand side is the side that I can see the least of from in cap. It gets even worse when you're working at the lower levels, but uh, yeah, it's you can easily line up on the left hand side. It's much harder to line up on the right. But we have got that in there, so I'm happy with that. Time to put another row on the bottom. And I have that stacking system, so I'll stack uh, the bottom one row further out than I am on the top. It just keeps the stack that little bit more stable when you're stacking it. Uh, so uh, quite a useful little method of stacking that. Uh, that keeps, uh, keeps things 
uh, from flying all over the place but you can see we've still got a fair amount of bales on this field so uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these cleared and the, the I just feel the grass a little bit yeah it's it's drying out rather nicely now it's um it's now about half past ten I think in the next hour or so we're gonna get back into the uh, the oat field uh, and hopefully we'll have uh, we'll have this lot finished by then uh, which will be good and uh, and yeah we'll have got lots done on the farm today and to my last couple of stacks now and we should be able to get these uh, fairly easily there we go not butted up against something what did that oh we've got a bale uh, we've got a bale hiding behind this so we've got five bales left uh to get out of this field so not too bad at all uh they've all stacked up fairly well uh we've got uh we've got plenty of space still left in the shed uh which is good news and uh and if we want to put some uh hay bales in there as well we should be good as i said i think we're gonna have to buy hay bales in there is well we'll give it we'll give it one more try I, we've got we've actually got the clover coming right again so uh it may be a case that we can get the clover to uh to do some hay and try it with that because that's something we planted this year and uh so far it seems to have done fairly well uh but yeah the grass fields have just produced nothing hay wise at all as i was saying we're gonna we're gonna give them another try i was hoping to get more grass silage off them uh at the end of the year but if i still need hay and uh, and we have a couple of good drying days then uh then that should work but this is uh yeah this has been a, a bit of a long morning getting these uh getting these stacked in this shed uh, getting them out of the elements it's going to be worth it these are going to last us a good long while we're not quite on the full self-sufficiency here uh on hilltop farm as i'd hoped though of course um but uh selling selling the straw off uh the oats that will give us enough money to uh to buy some hay uh and i need to i had hoped to have hay by now um, but obviously without uh, without it having dried in the fields we can't um, so uh, yeah buying it in seems to be the way to go uh, at least temporarily till we see if we can uh, get some from the uh, get some from the clover maybe uh, but it's it's weird it just never seems to dry on the grass fields at all I don't know what it is around here uh, I don't I never obviously yeah with the issues that we had we don't really have uh, a good rapport with the previous owners uh, after they did what they did right uh, but we are uh, I, I yeah I've no idea whether uh, whether they had any issues growing grass up here i had a feeling that they did uh, unsurprisingly to me i have a feeling they did a lot of silage here all right let's drop that down so i don't want to want this to be a nice straight bale on the top of here i mean my stack isn't that straight but it's uh, it's at least stable there we go line that up a bit better and up and lift it yeah the only issue i have with this uh the head on this new holland is it's not a self-leveling one so as you lift the arm the uh, the front goes in an arc and as you so it uh, yeah tips up as you lift it and uh, and tips down as you lower it which isn't great there we go look at that 
Just one more bale to get on here. We'll put it in the middle at the front. Because uh, we're not going to be putting any more on here for now. Uh, it's a good thing that this isn't... Uh, it's a good thing this field is right round the back of here. One of the uh, fields further, afi uh, further afield. Uh, that would... Um, that would be a proper pain to uh, to get these bales back. Considering at the moment we don't have a flatbed on the farm. Although I am considering rectifying that. Especially if we're going to be going selling bales and, and bits like that. We've had... Uh, We've had bail deliveries on flatbeds, but obviously not ours. There we go. That's got it. Last bail. Uh, and uh, so we've had uh, deliveries of bales, but we've uh, we've never done much selling. And of course, our our uh, man truck over there—that is just a tanker. It's not an, an Arctic at all. So. We might look at investing in uh, something like that uh, when it comes to selling our crops later in the year and possibly selling the bales. I, I haven't gone and had a look, so it would take a little while. Um, I think the people who are selling it, especially if I'm buying, if I buy a load of hay off them, uh, they will uh, they will likely... Oh, you see, this is why we put the, the set of bales in front. You don't get that pull forwards. Uh, but that is a job well done. I'm happy with that. Let's leave this out of the way here because we know we've got to tip the oats into the back section. Turn that off. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a good stack. Let's head out here to our G190. Get us started up. And head out, and I think the field is probably dry enough. It was uh, it was pretty dry uh, about half an hour ago, so I I think it's only going to have got drier at this point. But we'll get the first load in, we'll get it tested, and uh, it should be good. But yeah, it, it felt dry uh, not too long ago. Uh, which means that we, uh, we're in a good position to get this field going. We know we can do about eight rows now with the combine and get this uh, before we have to empty. So it's, uh, it's not a huge amount of the field left, especially compared to what we had. So uh, I'm going to cut in, uh, get us started up, and get her moving. We'll park on the grass here. There we go. There she is. All ready and raring to go. And, uh, and yeah, not a huge amount of oats left to, to knock out of this field. So, start her up. Yeah, I got her ready this morning when I... Uh, uh, when I was uh, out here test doing my initial test. So, it uh, should be all good. And, uh, yeah, fully greased up and uh, raring to go. Uh, I'm going to knock the rest of these oats out this afternoon. And, uh, and that will then be this field done. A little bit, a little bit longer for our canola. Um, I, I reckon probably another week uh, we'll be doing that. So we've got to, but we have got to bail this field up uh, yet. So uh, we've got that to do. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be about another week before the canola's ready. And I reckon probably another week after that before the soybeans. Uh, and then after we've, uh, after we've done those two, it'll be into the carrots as, uh, as we get into September. So uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a busy few days here. And I know we've done a lot of vlogs in a very short period of time. But, um, yeah, it has been a busy few days, and I wanted to kind of cover that with you guys. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm hoping you've enjoyed a very in-depth look at my harvest. And we're coming up to a full tank here. So, I'm just going to stop the combine. 
pick it up a bit and uh, yeah we'll go and grab the tractor and trailer miscalculated a bit because this part of the field is very very much shorter uh, than the other side and it's uh, as a result it, it takes more rows to do it but the rows are not uh, it, it, it ends up with being an odd number of rows. So I needed to empty it about 6,000 meters, and I didn't, is the trouble. Let's just get that over the trailer. And we'll reverse up a little bit. Yeah, get it over the wheels and unload. And, uh, and yeah, we'll leave the tractor in the middle. It means we're going to be doing a little bit of running around. Uh, but in general, it's good. I've actually, you can see I've come quite a way over. Uh, it's so that I've got a, a good width coming back the other way. Uh, or coming back up here. It wasn't going to fill it full width of the header, this row. So it wasn't, uh, didn't make much sense to do that. But uh, yeah, that's all good. And it's going into here quite nicely. It's good. There we go. Shut it off. And um, we'll just go and turn our tractor off as well. So we don't need to leave this running. Down and away. Ah, uh, yeah. This is uh, this is running smoothly now, and this does this does not feel like a wet crop. This is uh, this is feeling nice and dry. We're aiming to reach about six and a half thousand liters uh, before I empty again. Uh, you can see that it's we're up to about four and a half, just under four and a half at the moment. So it is, it's a, it, it's a bit of a slower going at this end of the field because you do have this whole. Uh, you, you do have this thing with uh, having to turn more often, um, but it's uh, it's doing well. It's we we still have this good high yield for the oats off here, and uh, and it hasn't changed much from the bottom end, which is uh, which is very good news. We are coming up to five thousand meters here, so I think maybe one more. Uh, run now do we have I think actually Best thing for us to do is not to go there and we'll do we'll do a cut in again in a minute But what we'll do is come back on this row here uh, It'll leave us close to our tractor and trailer and Should position us well to unload when we do Gonna have a little bit of a kink at the end of that. Yeah, I should have stopped pause for a minute let the uh, straw bunch up make it easier to uh, make it easier to bail but yeah we've got pretty much a, a full width here uh, and I think we're gonna end up in a position where we can drive back up here empty out to the tractor and trailer uh, before we do another cut in uh, but we're we're getting through the remains of this very very large field uh, quite well at the moment uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a task this one so 5783 I'm going to get the auger out and unload it's not quite as full as I'd liked we could have possibly done uh, there and back um, but uh, it'll do and we'll empty it out at this point uh, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be a full full trailer, but it will be uh, about 90 95 percent full. So that's good uh, I can live with that There we are. Let's put a little bit more to the front Because the back of the trailer is fairly open. So I want to try and Not go too much to the back. There we go. So that's nice and full. Let's go and uh, line this up to cut in because we were, would have had a bit more than I wanted uh, And you can see we are getting uh, closer and closer to the end of this field now So there we go a load of oats Nicely Delivered to the barn um, 
But uh, I think I'm going to leave today's vlog here. I'm going to go and get on with a little bit more of the oats. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.